Hello, my name is Nigel and thanks for clicking on the Tesla Travel Channel. I had a bit of a surprise this morning when my Tesla Model 3 standard range, which were just fully charged at home, had gained range and I'll tell you about that in just a moment. I have an update for you on the video I did a few weeks ago, which was called No More 100% LFP Charging for Me, and that was very popular. The thing was that my Tesla Model 3 has an LFP battery, which we bought last December, and it's done 7,700 miles. And originally it had a range of 263 miles when it was fully charged. And over the 10 months that we've had it, it's declined to 257 miles. That's, that's only six miles. It's not, it's not a big deal, but six miles is six miles. And I worked it out at 2.281 percentage of the total. Now, we mostly charge to 100%. Tesla say that you should get about 1% reduction in range over 20,000 miles. But clearly, mine was a lot worse than that at over 2.2%. YouTuber Model 3, uh, he'd done 200,000 miles and his degradation on his battery was 8%. Right. I don't use superchargers all the time, probably half the time on road trips. We've had two fantastic trips up to Scotland uh, and the Orkney Islands, as well as Wales and the Isle of Wight. But about 50% of the time I charge at home and always to 100% and mostly at the superchargers to 100%. There's never anybody waiting, so there's not an issue of uh, stopping someone else sort of charging up. So I decided to stop charging to 100%, even though it is what Tesla recommends. If you go to your Tesla phone app and you go to service and then to owner's manual, then to charging, charging instructions and scroll down to charge settings and note. It says that if your vehicle is equipped with an LFP battery, which you can determine by navigating to control software, additional vehicle information, Tesla recommends that you keep your car charged to 100%, even for daily use, and that you also fully charge your vehicle to 100% at least once a week. So thanks for all your comments uh, and please keep them coming. So I decided only to charge to 80% and see what happens. I haven't done a lot of miles and I've not used any Tesla superchargers, uh, only charging at home and I then charge to 80%. On the Tesla screen, when I change the percentage from 100% to 80 percent a note comes up on the screen saying we recommend keeping your charge limit at 100 percent and charging fully once a week however i decided to keep it on the 80 percent level charge in the car had dropped to 40 percent i thought i would charge it up to 100 percent at home and so obviously i was delighted this morning when my range had increased by one mile from 257 to 258. But after about one second, it reverted back to 257. So it had lost that mile, but that's okay. That doesn't matter. It was nice while it lasted. So what I'm gonna do in future, I am going to do as Tesla recommend and charge at home to 100%, especially if I'm going on a road trip. But sometimes I will charge to just 80% or 90% at home. At Tesla superchargers and fast chargers, I will try and charge between 80 and 90% as long as I can get to the next charging station. And then I'm going to see what happens. Got a big uh, road trip plan for Portugal uh, later on in the year and we're very much looking forward to that. I think charging to 100% at Tesla superchargers and fast chargers might be a problem. And many comments said, don't worry, the degradation is always worse at first, so I'm really not worried. LFP batteries or lithium iron phosphate batteries energy density is lower than other common lithium iron batteries and has a lower operating voltage. Because of its uh, lower cost, high safety, low toxicity and long cycle life, they're becoming more and more 
popular. They're in the Tesla Model 3 and Y produced in China and now they're being produced for the Tesla Model 3 and Y in the US of A. I hope you can look at our other videos and please keep those comments coming. And please don't forget to take your reusable coffee mug wherever you go and try and stop using those single-use paper cups that everyone thinks are recycled but they're not because the very thin uh, layer of plastic on the inside makes them almost impossible to recycle so they just end up on landfill or burnt but thank you very much for watching hope you can like and subscribe and please hit the bell icon take care see you soon bye